Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we collected the logs and the highland rice to restore the buildings, and we started with the foundation. And because we ran out, ran out of time, we had to, to wait for, for this episode to finish the houses. And that's what we're gonna do directly here. This is my first big job in a while. And I admit, I'm absolutely thrilled to be getting back at it. Now, which building should we work some magic on? Let's start with an establishment. An establishment, it is. Which one should we work on? Let's do the inn. We're building the inn, are we? Ah. The inn is over there. It's known far and wide for its salt spa. They use herbs and whatnot to soothe travelers' sores and weary muscles. That's good. Mm. Let's move over to the inn so we can do a better job explaining what we need to do. Okay, let's go. Okay, though, please follow me. Oh. All right, here we are. Mm. As you can see, the frame and the central pillar manage to hold up just fine. But if you look inside, you'll see there's a puddle of rainwater. Getting rid of the water won't be difficult, but the junk in there is a hazard and will make it impossible for me to work. Mm. I don't want to damage the framing since we're lucky it's intact, but I'm not sure how to get rid of that debris. It won't be easy, but I think we're gonna have to pull it out piece by piece from above. Mm -hmm. Once all that junk is gone, I'll start rebuilding the rebuilding work right away. It will look incredible. Okay. So let me climb up here. I hope it's not me that's are gonna take away the water, because that I have no clue on how we should be able to do it. Do I also need to take those? I actually think I do. That was a bit stupid. Let me just bring you in again then. Oh. There we go. And with that we can stand. So we reach this. Reach the last one. We do. Nice. I think that's pretty much it. After we get the last one also out here. Here we go. Well, well. I'm betting someone got rid of all the junk. That someone is you, by the way. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. I'm not gonna sing that. Okay, do all down. Nice. Restore to its former glory. Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. The owner can move back in any old time. What's going on? I thought the pirates destroyed my place, but here it is, good as new. Ma! You two rebuilt it, didn't you? I was hiding out in the Gerudo region, in the southwest, but it's just sand, as far as the eye can see. I missed the ocean so much, I had to come back. And then I found this, I can't believe my inn is all fixed up. I'm stunned. Ah! I'm sorry, I really must give you a thank you gift. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. Uh, there's work to do, and it ain't doing itself. Look, you and me, we are beasts of construction. We'll have this village put back together in no time. Okay, so which should we do now? Now, which building should we work on? Let's work on a home this time, then. Maybe the village head's house? 
Oh, we're rebuilding the house for the head of the village, are we? Yeah, I feel like that can be good to do. Mm. The house is there. Um, that's That there is where the village head and his family lives. They've been letting me stay with them too. Oh, it's so cozy. They even had a little something for Princess Zelda on display. Then along come, came those awful monsters. Mm. How about we head over there? Let's go. Oh. All right, all right. Here we are. Hmm. The central pillar is broken and we have to fix it pronto. After all, it provides vital support to the whole building. I already used the logs you collected to store, shore up the foundation, so... Oh. Look at this house over here. We'll need to stick a palm tree log through the detached hut unit, too. There are even holes for the central pillar in the roof and floor. That's where the log is supposed to go, okay. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. So which house was it? Okay. Okay. Let's just cut one of these down then. I think this will work. That thing is really gonna be in the way. How could you cut, cut down a tree but not the box? Okay. Here we go. Oops. Wrong way. Oh my God. I think this tree is too bent. Let's drop that. And let's just cut this instead. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a lot better. A lot taller though. <laughs> They didn't say anything about the height, so I think it's okay. Maha. Ooh, it's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. Just leave the rest to me, I'm on it. Okie do, all done. Nice. Now it's three more things to repair in this town, I think. Uh, it's all done. From here on out, I'll have a comfy place to sleep at night. Ooh, and I thought I heard the sound of the hammering coming from the houses. It's exactly how it was before. Luckily, the house mains building went undamaged, but the detached hut where Bolson is staying was destroyed. I was so worried about finding a place for him to sleep, but not anymore. Mm. Sorry you had to go to the trouble of fixing up our house. Here, I'll give you something for the repairs. Thank you, thank you. Ah. Hey, this is no time for resting, I know. We have three more things to build. So this time, let's work on an establishment, the restaurant. Let's just do this in order. Ah. The restaurant is over there. Azur Bay is known for its incredible cuisine, you know? They offer dishes from all over the world. Mm. How about we re relocate to the restaurant so we can do... Yes, let's go. Oh. Alright, here we are. Hmm. 
The center pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. I already shored up the building's foundation using the logs you collected for me. So if we can place a log from the palm tree through the holes in the roof and floor, like I mentioned, that should do it. Okay, so it's the same oh. here. When you pick a palm tree log, just make it a straight one. Yeah. I've already done that mistake. It's really weird that these can cut down the trees in one hit, but not... Maybe it's not one hit, maybe it's two. Actually, yeah. Is this straight enough? I think it is. It's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold the place up myself. Leave the rest to you. <laughs> Okey do, all done. Get a load of my handiwork. Talk about a perfect restoration job. The old building skills are still sharp as nail, baby. Now all we have to do is to wait for the owner return and... Hey, am I dreaming? Whoa, but it was all broken before. Look, Suta, our house. It's all better too. I just came to check on my restaurant and my house. I was worried about them. Was, was it you? Did you fix them? Thank you so much. Please, I want you to have this. Of all the dishes we serve at our restaurant, this is the one I'm most proud of. Please stop by anytime you're hungry. Hi! Yes. Ah. Uh, let's do a home. Armes house. Mmm. Mmm. Is it the same here? Only find a palm tree? Oh. Alright, here we are. Hmm. The central pillar is broken, yes. Um, okay. Oh. Yes, yes. Maybe, oh. Maybe not jump down into the hole. Okay, we cannot move that. So, a straight palm tree. These ones are pretty straight. What you see before you is the work of a true craftsman. Mm. Oh, oh, my house is fixed. You really fixed it? Thank you. I can finally get back to making a living. I'm really sorry I wasn't any help. Please take this as an apology. Nice. Ah. Money we need. <laughs> I usually save them for the people here in the village, but I really owe you for fixing my house. Ooh, some weapon and a chest also. Ah. Don't mind if I do. Only have room for one. Oh. Thanks. Let's do the last. Ah. 
How about we head to the Lucky Egg Treasure? Yeah, I'm skipping all the text because it's not important. It's the same thing every time. But this is probably a different type of repairing here. All right, here we are. A palm tree grew through the roof on up on the second story. Okay. It was a bit of a landmark, actually, but, well, the damage is worse than I thought. I rebuilt the foundation using the logs. Okay, so palm tree again. A straight one. Yeah. I think this is straight enough. Grab that. Just up here. For now. Hopefully it doesn't fall. It's perfect. It's perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What exactly is going on here? I was sure the monsters had done my shopping. I heard the pirates were gone and came running. I can't believe I can open my shop again. I never thought this day would come. Ah. This place means everything to me. My old man, rest his soul, left it to me. Here, please. I have to thank you. Take this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. You bet it is. Every last building in the village is as good as new. <laughs> Incredible. How can I ever thank you? And to think you restored the village so quickly. A feast is most certainly in order tonight. Whoa. Did you hear that? A feast. They said a feast is in order. Oh there. You think I should change my outfit? Depends on the theme of the party. You did not change your outfit. The day the pirates attacked and overran the village, I was desperate to get everyone to safety. Before I knew it, our beloved home was gone. After everyone fled, the only sound coming from Lurlin village was the sound of monsters. I never thought, never dared to dream. I'd live to see the day we could all laugh together again like this. This moment right now, it's all thanks to you. Of course, I am extremely grateful to Bolson as well. Ah. No, no, there's no need to thank me. After all, when I first drifted into this village, you all welcomed me with open arms, didn't you? Oh. The work I did here, it's just my way of paying the kindness back. Bolson, thank you. This village owes you a debt. In fact, I think it's safe to say you are this village savior. Ah. Now, I talked about this with the rest of the folks around here. And we do not have enough money or treasure to repay you for saving our home. Oh. But the treasure, treasure we do have, well, it's this village and everyone in it. So from now on, we'll do everything we can to share our hospitality with you. Aye. For the village saver, I'll provide a bed for free anytime. Ah. You're also welcome to eat at the restaurant as much as you like, free of charge, of course. Oh, I will. Use this a lot. Uh, the village savior may not need to test his luck, but I'm sure it'd be fun to play a treasure chest game once in a while. Please feel free to take anything you find in the village. Oof, I'm a, a wash in the emotions. I can't hold back anymore. <laughs> Suta, Kino, look lively. It's time for the. What the hell is happening now? Some kind of dance? Mm-hmm. Lurin Revival Dance. Now oh, this is a bit cringy. Nice dance. Mm. 
Nice. Now this town is restored. Okay, so if I want to eat something in this restaurant... Welcome to Sorbet, the village premier and only restaurant. Hey, it's you. I was wondering when the village savory would drop by. When we met at the Skyview Tower, I knew you were different from the other travelers. Lurlin owns you and bolts in a lot of fi for fixing our houses, rebuilding our shops and restoring <laughs> the community. Anyway, the feast we had was a delight. Seeing Bolson and my boys dance together really tickled me. <laughs> Even remembering it now, I can't help but chuckle. Say, are you hungry by chance? Or maybe you'll like a meal for the road? Aww. Here at Azur Bay, I try to surprise my customer with meals they've never heard before. <clears throat> I learned a lot of new recipes during my travels, and I want to share them with adventurous eaters in Lurlin. And for you, the village savior, it's on the house. I'll take it. Nice. Seafood paella. No fishman's birthday bash would be complete without this top shelf seafood dish. <laughs> okay, enjoy. I'm always putting unique new dishes on my menu, so do come by again. So I guess sold out for the day. Huh? It's once a day you can go here and get free food. I also want to take a look at the... At the store. <laughs> Guess why not? Ooh. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're him, aren't you? The kid who sent the pirates packing. The kid who rebuilt the village, including this humble establishment. I'd given up, you know. I thought this town was history. Glad you proved me wrong. Ooh. But enough sappy stuff. This is the lucky treasure shop, where I run what you call a game of luck. See those treasure chests, pick any of them and open it. Don't be shy, crack one open. Let's go for the middle one. That's probably the worst reward. Come here, kid, let's see it. Green, okay. So that means... That net you the prize on the left. Pff, take it, thief. Oh, you must be pretty happy scoring that prize for free. If you like to... Like it delivered to your place of residence? Too bad, I don't do that. <sighs> Oop, also, I'll take that rupee back. It's not for you to keep. <laughs> so that's the game. Pick a chest and win a prize, all upside. There's one catch. I have to cap how much you play or I go bankrupt. Wouldn't want to shut me down right after you put me back in business, wouldn't you? Didn't think so. Come back later if you want another round. That's the worst. I wanted that thing. Maybe this is also a once a day thing. That's a house, but maybe he has a quest for me. <laughs> I gotta thank you. Lurlin is looking as good as I've ever seen it. We never know monsters tore the place apart. But as hum but as a humble fisherman, I'm afraid that only rewards I can offer are the slippery scaly variant. Oh. Wait, have you been to the lucky treasure shop? The owner has a rule that after you play once, you can't come back for a while. But he, he's got a soft spot for roasted porgy. If you give him one, he'll let you play the game again. That's good information. That's a secret, but as our town savior, I think you earned the right to hear it. A roasted porgy. Oh, is that some type of fish? Roasted porges, these ones, if we roast them over the fire. So basically these, I guess. Oh. You gotta wait, kid. Bugging me is not gonna change my answer. Though, I guess if you want to play that badly, no, never mind. Just come back later. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I know it's that smell anywhere. That's the smell I dream about, sure enough. You got a roasty porgy in that pouch, don't you? Give it to me. <laughs> Thank you, kid. I have a real weakness for it. Tell you what, seeing as you were so generous, I'll bend the rules and let you play again. Oh, it's okay. So you can cheat and get all the rewards by giving me a fish. Oh. 
Red. Oh, I got the big prize. <laughs> Is that something I can pick up? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And let's play once again. Oh. Now when he's out of prices, can you give him one more? I don't think so. Let's just keep checking the other places here. Do you have anything you want to say? You can stay for free. Yeah. I know. Thank you for what you did. Without my inn, I have no way of making a living. And indeed, the whole village benefits from the customer I draw here. Sarkso from the bottom of my heart. Sorry I spent some time as a refugee in Gerudo's region, so I picked up some of the local language. Sarkso, thank you for coming. Now then, my special salt spa will soothe your oh. body and soul. Uh, our would you... Which uses rock salt? Uh, oh. Not right now. Good to know that it exists. You have a quest? Hey, it's the guy who fixed our houses. Being in a tent was kind of fun, like having a secret base. But I'm way happier now when we're back home. You know, mister, everyone is calling you the savior of our village. Thanks for putting everything back how it used to be. Aww. Sorry, mister, but I can't play right now. I gotta find my dad's blue shirt. Blue shirt? It's dad's favorite thing. He loves it so much. He put it in an iron chest so nobody takes it. But I checked everywhere and I couldn't find the chest. I think those pirates sank it, so it's probably in the bay. Since it's too heavy to float Aww. anyway. Dad pretends like he doesn't mind, but I bet he's really sad it's gone. I gotta go and get it back. Okay, so we have chests out there. Why not just build the car, uh, not the car, the boat? saw a sword also, which I'm gonna... Oops. That's no good. Maybe... If we're lucky... We reach this, yeah. Bit of a heavy chest, actually. I didn't really think that the first one would be it. Also that sword we really want. It's here. It's just a rusty claymore. Huh? Okay. I don't want it. this up on land. Oh. Was there any more out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Somewhere here. Oops. 
it's a stone, huh? Shield. We reach the car uh, or the boat from from here. Oh my God. Way too many things here. Fifteen. It's crazy. Blue shirt, yeah. You're gonna be mad if I rock the shirt on. Where's that iron chest with that blue shirt? It's so heavy, so I, if it sank in the ocean, it should still. Be in the base somewhere. That's pretending like it doesn't mind, but that is really sad. Wait a minute. That blue shirt smells like my dad. That's my dad's shirt. Where did you find it, mister? And can you take it off, please? My dad's needed it back. <laughs> of course. Let me just change here. There we go. Here you go. Thank you, mister. I gotta go and tell my dad. Dad. This guy's this guy found your shirt then. It smells like you. Mm -hmm. So that's what you two were doing on the beach all day. Looking for this. I thought you were out playing. Gosh, thanks for finding this guys. And you? Saving villages, finding lost items. What can't you do? My trusty blue shirt. When I was a young man, I used to wear it all the time. But I haven't put it on since the boy's mom started picking out my clothes. Seems a shame to keep that beauty in a moldy old chest though. Say, would you want it? Uh, no, not. Give it to your son instead. Uh, what? But dad, weren't you sad about your shirt? Well, yeah. That's the one I'm we wearing. I was eating soup and I got a big stain on it. I thought it was ruined. But then mommy got rid of the stain, so it's good as new. Oh, so all this time we were worried about the wrong shirt. Wrong shirt, wrong shirt. <laughs> Afraid so, kiddo. But I am grateful you did all that for your old man. Honestly, I can't believe how fast you two are growing up. <laughs> you make your dad proud, you know that. Very, very proud. Gonna start sobbing. Okay, that's blue shirt is done. This chest somehow found its way back to the water. I probably can't reach. Yeah, I can reach it from here. Nice. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the energy to get it. Only five rupees, also. That's worth. A new attraction, eh? Hey, now, what's on your mind? You're thinking about teaming up with your pal Bolson again, aren't you? I'm not surprised. Our chemistry is out of this world, yeah? Funny thing is, I was just talking to the mayor about creating some kind of new attraction in Lurlin. Yes, I'd like it to be some kind of entertainment. Something everyone could really get behind and enjoy. You traveled all over the place, haven't you? Any marvelous ideas you care to share? Host a water rally? Host a water rally on the water? Clever. Very clever. Don't you think? Hmm. Well, it would be a brand new form of water-related amusement. <laughs> that could be do the trick. Yes. In fact, I think that's it. Oh. I seem to recall Hudson saying something about inviting some hotshot professional racers to help develop some new ve vehicle. 
If we could work with them. Hudson, do you mean the fellow from Terrytown, plays in North and Eastern Akala? I'd love to invite the racers here once they finish their work there. Though I do wonder if real professional racers will be willing to come to a place like this. Oh, sure they will. Now we have an objective to do here, which is nice. I'm just gonna go and see if we have any more quests to pick up here. You want to hear something pathetic during the whole pirate raid? I was holed up in my house, hiding. What is that painting, though? After the evacuation, I'd snuck back to grab a change of clothes. But before I knew it, there were pirates outside, so I had no cho cho choice but to hunker down and pray they didn't find me. If not for you, they would probably demolish my house with me in it. You saved my life, and you helped me come to an important realization. Mm. An outfit isn't worth risking your life for, no matter how good it makes you l your legs look. That's true, though. Can I examine this picture? Guess not. What can I do? What can you do? I heard about you. You're him, right? The person who helped Bolson rebuild the village. Thank you so much. My father, Rosel, speaks very highly of you. You know, I was living with my husband in Hateno village until not too long ago. When we heard those monsters occupying the village were driven out, we decided to come and look around for ourselves. It's a nice little beach town. Overall, I said it's looking mostly as it did before. I was born and raised here, so I really appreciate all you've done for this village. Now, I like to do my part to help get things going in Lurlin village. Problem is, I'm so hungry that I can't think of ideas, only food. Like one meal that I ate long ago. Highland rice cooked with Goron spice and porgy. Mm. Mm, thinking about it just makes me hungrier. Okay. So let's cook that for her. Highland rice, Goron spice and porgy. So I don't have any rice. That's true. We used it all the last uh, when building this dam. That sucks. Well, I guess we have to leave that quest for now then. And was it someone in there? I don't think so. So let's go up to Terrytown. So we can continue the quest uh, line and get the water rally down here also. Is an enemy? Might actually be it. Or not. Oh my god. It's weird that it's just one. Oh, there's one also. Like this type of trees. I'm not sure what the name are. I was like, if it's only one here, that must also be a Kuroko. Let's just see if we can grab some rice here, because then I think we're going down there and do some quests. No rice. But I have zero money as well, so let's just not buy anything there. Have I taken a picture on the things they want? A horoblin? I think they ha I have. Okay, uh, a horoblin has a colorful coat like a wow and a charming droopy snout. Its hands are big like whoosh and yes, and it dangles from the ceiling too. Hmm, I'm trying, but I can't picture what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, this we have. Uh, without a detailed picture of that horoblin thing, I'm not sure what I can do. How about this picture? Do we have any funny picture on them? 
have that one. Oh yeah, that's the only one we have because we have... That's true. Let's use it then. That's exactly! That's the horribly Naida door. Ah, now it's a good... Now this is a good picture. Let me use it for reference and I can make a sculpture no problem. May I borrow it? Of course. Alright, just leave me to it. I'll have it made for sun and down. Sun and done, as promised. Nice. So now I guess we have to face it also. I'm just skipping this because we have done this conversation before. He just said that it's not in its warranty to... ...to place things. Dude, you're in the way. Okay, it's not gonna fit upside down. Also, you can't attach it, so it's... But I would like actually to have... Can I move you, please? Yes, for a little bit. This lives in only in caves. So it feels more like that this should come out of the cave like that. While well, you can maybe stand here and mine. Yeah, why not? Pretty sure I said I can't be responsible for that sort of thing. Too big of a decision. Ah, oh, if someone would move it to the stage. I found a nice spot. Ah? What did you say? Ooh. It looks so natural here and so realistic. Uh, yes, it's exactly what I was hoping for. Even I could swear I see the, the wind ruffling in its coat. <laughs> yes, now we must put it in front of every face in the village. <laughs> look like the town has maybe grown a bit. No, I don't think so. Hear ye, hear ye, come look see. I present you the new species of monster called the Horoblin. Do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. Ooh, a new species. Um, this sight has stolen your eyes, now give me your ears. All of them. Once again, this monster is the lovable Horoblin. A new monster was discovered in caves created by the upheaval. And what a stylish monster it is. See how its colorful hair sprouts from its tough skin? You feel the urge to reach out and ruffle its locks, don't you? Yes, it feels that very same feeling so very much. And yet, it might be best to keep your hands up to yourself. If you want to keep your hands at all, that is. It is rather stylish. Look and learn, then you won't hate. Understand what you fear and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always wait. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, thank you. Again, I find myself in your debt. Please allow me to give you a gift for my gratitude. Monster soup. Uh, this dish is a specialty of mine. I hope your mouth enjoys it. The homemade seasoning I gave you last time gives it a secret flavor. Since you're here, I'll give you another bottle. Thank you, thank you. You may wonder what, you, what use you could have for such a thing, but I promise it's quite handy. For so long, I dreamed of collecting these sculptures and showing the world how wonderful monsters truly are. <laughs> And now that dream is coming true. All because of you. Thank you. Thank you many times again. Hilton, would you would it be alright if I made more sculptures for you, I mean? Been a while since I've been this excited about making stuff. Yahi! Why if those aren't the exact words I wanted to fall into my ears? Yes, thank you, thank you, yes. Thought it would help if you got better at, you know, describing monsters. Or maybe somebody will bring us another picture of a monster. Yep, it would be a big help if someone brought us a picture, yeah. It would mean a lot if I could see a picture of Matheson in Gerudo. Dude, I was just there. Ah, uh, never mind. I should probably try to focus on work right now. I should have snapped a picture on her then. Thank you. What do you want now? Do we have any pictures? A dragon? 
go ahead. I'm probably gonna skip a lot of the conversation here, because it's just gonna be the same again. Sun and down as promised. And I feel like it's fitting to place that here. Okay, maybe not <laughs> that far out. Something like that is good. What the hell? Aren't you supposed to... We just made a sculpture. Okay. Maybe we need to place more than one now. Thank you, you bring in blah blah blah. Like, how many should I make before this counts as done? Let's go to the quest log here. Monsters Collection 2 is done. Maybe it doesn't start a 3. Let's just keep it like that for now then. Down in uh, Lurlin village they told something about like race cars and this looks a bit like a race car. <laughs> At least more than anything else here. You tricked us. It's like I told you. Oh, it's a quest here also. Hey. Furnison, this isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we get to drive our vehicle like no one ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you got is some piece of junk that no one can control. What kind of fools do you take us for? Oh. You got it all wrong. It's like I said before. I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of the Sona devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true, we haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. But that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional races like you two uh, can offer some guidance. So what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Hmm, you found nothing among the, these Sonai devices capable of controlling your vehicle. Mm. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Terry Town work. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. I'm standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit chat. Didn't you say those so thing ma bobs are this from the Age of Legends? You're trying to tell me something that old and run down is still useful? Please. Oh. We did come all this way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her ride, as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that sub shabok? Oh. Hmm, <laughs> fine. If Tally wants to help, then help is what we'll do. Let me help you guys instead. I have just what you need. I'm just here to help. This vehicle is a prototype, so please, no touching. Hey now, that vehicle is a prototype, please, no touching. Hold on. What? Incredible. Just look at it, it's perfect. I have no doubt that Sonai Devices was made for steering. Ah, so sorry for shouting. Are you new to Hudson Construction? My name is Furnison. I'm collaborating with Hudson on a Sonai Device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. But more importantly, this Sonai device of yours? It seems like it could be used for steering things, doesn't it? Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? 
I don't get it. That weird thing is gonna make that huge contraption move. Say all the fancy words and silly jargons you like, but I'll believe it when I see it, with my own two eyes. Quickly, I must see. Ah, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Let's see, hmm, I think if I flip the switch here and here, and yes. Is it a race course? Ta-da, it's a test drive course, you see. Those pillars of light, they disappear when touched. Uh, so here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the lights and return to where you started within the time limit. Do that and it's a success. <laughs> oh, what did he say? Um, until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly. But it's if this device works, we'll have, we'll have built another new vehicle and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, and I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device. we we'll go too far, of course. You won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that, okay? Yeah. Everything is ready. Now, if you don't mind, would you like to give it a try? Yeah. I'll do it. And let's get started. Oi. Now, let me quickly remind you of the rules. It's simple, really. Just touch all of the lights, yes, yes. And don't <laughs> let go of everything, anything. Mm. Boom. Light touched. Three minutes for this. I don't think so. At least give us one minute instead of three minutes to make it a bit more of a challenge. Uh, I don't believe it. I never thought something so big it could be steered so easily. Ooh, technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tali? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. Uh, we can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out this Sonai device full capacity capabilities. And uh, I'm counting on you to help me out. Of course, of course. Here, please consider this a down payment. <laughs> you're now an official member of our team. Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Thank you. Ah. I have never used one of those and I have plenty. It's a sleepover ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Head straight down that road. You can't miss it. Oh, nice. That's where a stable is. But haven't we been to this stable also? Well, you do. Uh, you must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. No, not at all. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. Hope you're as excited about it as I am. Of course. Yeah. Oh, what did they say now? Uh, see, the vehicle is up and running. So don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on a Terry Town race project. And I finally can do just that. Now it's time for me to start prepping a test course. Ah. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. <laughs> the Terry Town race. Hmm, yes. I am looking forward to it. Me too. I'm really looking forward to... Time to get things ready. Yes, yeah, so we should... See if we have been to that stable. We have not. And I'm feeling lazy. So just... Let's just fly there. I guess we go to the stable. We sleep in the bed there just to... Make the quest here reset, and then we can go back and continue on the race quest. And after the race quest, those uh, girls from... What is it called? Goron? I always... Gerudo. Gerudo. Uh, they will go down to... The names. I'm so bad at names. Down to Laurelin village, and we can do the race course in the water. Which will be hype. Uh, 
let's start with the shrine over here. And also quests, of course, of course. Grounds, huh? The hunt. Nice. All we get is. Okay, this will probably be easy. So I think the plan here is to take this. Put it like that. Turn it on. Grab the other. Do the same with that. Shouldn't you guys just be able to go now? We need to maybe see the targets. If I like push you out here. Or as I can. Nice. Let's do the same with you. It's just time to run, I guess. Oh my god. Destroy. Thank you. Let's jump over here. Oh. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, no. I understand. I'm gonna rain <laughs> stones here any second now. Uh, thing, but oh my god, the hell! Ah, it's the metal, it don't touch the metal now. Huh? It'd be good to know. Oh, I dropped my only weapon from the metal, that's good. Here we have a weapon. Just kill this dude. Well, let's grab this machine because it was really powerful actually. I wanna find a gumball machine with uh, this type of this AI uh, thingy. I'm not sure what to call it. It looks like a machine. Uh, oh my. Did it again. Looks like, I don't know what it's like. Maybe a frog or something. Or a lizard. Freeze me, dude. The machine turns on me. Ah, it's one left after us. Oh, no, 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 no. Be careful. 
Okay. So the last one we should be able to manage. It's actually a pretty fun uh, this type of uh, fighting shrine. Okay, I just need to try something out here. If I have this one, use it with this. Oh, will this make? It would be so much more fun if it actually pushed me forward there. Ooh, that, that's a crazy spear. I will probably drop you for that. Let's get to the stable over here. Here's a Kuroko also. Dude, you will have to wait for for a while before I can help you. And what was the Kuroko thingies? Was it actually those? I don't remember. Let's do uh, one of those. So either way, I'm gonna understand well like when I get there what it is. And I know I have a quest over there, but let's just get some pony points first. Hi. You're a night owl, I say. Welcome to the. You found yourself at the South Akala Stable. Ooh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. You will get one pony point. Thank you, thank you. So one more till the reward. Ah. Uh, right now I don't need any help. I wanna sleep though. So I can get the other pony point reward. God damn. A rumored beast. Okay, okay. Yes. I can take the Melania bed. And let's sleep until the morning. I am Melania, the god of horses. I hunger for copious fried wild greens, a meal made with four kinds of vegetables, heated over a flame. Bring me the food I crave and I will enhance your horse abilities. Oh. Point. So let's go and get the reward. Ah. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Receive reward. Yeah. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. You like to get your pony points reward, right? Ooh. As a reward for 20 points, you can now register an additional horse. If there's a wild horse that catches your fancy, please bring it to us. Save up just three more points. Ah. How about that? You'll get a knight saddle and knight's bridle. We appreciate your patronage. I appreciate you. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do in the next episode is talk with our good friend the bird. I'm not remembering his name, unfortunately. Just looking at the time, we have gone over the hour mark. If you have enjoyed this episode, please consider liking the video. Also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss on the future episodes. This has been 23. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video and bye bye.